Hello my friends, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I am here today to give you a demo of how to create the Krabby Says Makey Makey game. This is a Simon Says type game, but we'll be using a Makey Makey to create an arcade console to go along with the code. For the coding portion, I'm going to break this up into several steps in terms of videos just to make life a little bit easier for you so you don't feel overwhelmed with a super long video. The very first step that we're going to be doing here in step one is creating the game platform and getting the colors up and running in our particular code. And so what we're going to be doing in this one is taking a look at how to change the sprites, colors, and things of that nature. And so the first thing you want to do, I'm going to be using um, a underwater scene, but you can use anything that you would, you would like. Um, actually, you know what, I'll mix it up. We'll do something different just because my previous one was the Krabby Says. So the first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and get this cat out of the way and we're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is choose a backdrop okay so pick your theme now with the theme we're going to have in this particular demo four different color buttons so kind of keep that in mind and what i think i might do for this one um you know what i love basketball so let's let's just pick i'm going to pick basketball I haven't done basketball before, so this will be this will be fun. And what we want to do then, once we have the backdrop, I need to create a sprite. And the sprite is going to be the person or the animal or the character that's going to give us the sequence of colors that we need to follow and manipulate. So okay, so we're gonna add in a sprite here. And I'm going to choose Andy here. Um, because he's got a basketball in his hand. And what I'm going to do is I need him to be able to have four different costumes of colors. So the one that I, I kind of like, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to move actually Andy right here to the lane. I'm going to take this basketball and I'm going to raise it just so it's right above, maybe right even higher there we go and then I'm gonna copy that basketball because I don't see one here I'm gonna paste it into that there's one in there and then there's one here and you know what, I should probably move this one so it is also in the same position just to avoid any issue. Okay, so a couple things that I could do. I could go in and change his jersey and I can make these any color I want. You can see when I select here how it selects the whole arm, I'd want to ungroup that. And that way I can pick just the wristband. Like I could go here to ungroup and I could pick here and then I could change that wristband. But what I think I'm going to do for this one is, even though he's moving, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the color of the basketball. So I'm going to take this and make this um, red. And I'm going to click this basketball, and I'm just going to make it red. And then I'm going to pick this outline, because I want to see the basketball outline here. So I might make this like a 2. Let's see what that looks like. Um, oh, I gotta select the basketball. There we go. Let's make this black and then we'll make this outline too. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna call this Andy Blue. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give this an outline of two. But then I'm gonna make this blue so I like I think it's 64 that I prefer or 65 not that it matters there's blue we're gonna make this one green so I'm gonna click the basketball again I'm gonna make this guy green and I'm gonna give him an outline of black shape of two 
And then let's make this final one. We're going to go, um, let's make it, I'm going to make it um, white. And the only reason I'm making it white is because that's what I have buttons for on my Makey Makey project. So there we go. So I need to actually make sure these are all labeled just for my own sanity. So there's white. There we go. So now we have four costumes, red, we have blue, we have green, and we have white. Okay? So now we are in good shape here in terms of having our sprites costumes ready to rock and roll. And so now what we want to do when this pops up is we want eventually this basketball to go into a sequence of sorts and so what we want to have happen is that it's going to trigger through some code and so let's go ahead and I'm going to add one more backdrop and I'm going to pick basketball 2 and I can actually delete this one out and I'm going to go here and put that up top. And I'm going to call this one the start screen. So just so we have that. Okay. So here we are. We got our backdrop. I'm going to call this in game. There we go. So I know that's the screen we're going to use when we're in the game. And we have our orchestrator of color in terms of Andy. All right. There we go. That is good. The last thing that we want to do next here before we finish up this first video is we want to get our buttons across the bottom of the screen or wherever you would like to place them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a sprite and I'm going to pick the basketball. And so what I can do here is I can see the basketball. Now I could choose to put them across. I could go four corners. I could go however I would like. And so the first thing that I want to do is for now, I'm just going to, we're going to change this, but just so we can test things out when clicked. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. So let's change, let's set the size to 150. Let's see what that looks like. That looks good. Just like that. And we're going to edit this guy and we're going to follow in the same footsteps that we did. So we're going to fill this guy. Oh, don't want to do that. Let's get here to my arrow. And we're going to fill him in and make him red. And I need to get that white dot off there. There we go. Okay, let's try this again here. Make this red, and I'm going to give an outline of black. Shape it to. There we go. And I'm just going to call this basketball red. And I'm just going to duplicate this. And I can drag him down right here. And let's see, so I got basketball red. basketball blue and I'm gonna make this guy blue Let's move this stuff here I made this what 65 I believe there we go and you know what? I might just say blue here so it's easier to read and there's red I'm going to duplicate this again. I call it green. Uh, let's 
see what color did I use for green what shade was that go here we're at 33 okay so we're gonna go here we're gonna fill this in with green and then we're gonna do one more Call this guy a white, even though it's not a very fun color, but it is what it is. And we got white. So these are going to be our trigger buttons. All right, so I might actually just put these around. Maybe I put them around the court. That looks. That makes sense. There we go. Perfect. And now we've got our buttons that we can trigger on the screen. So now we are set. We got our backdrops, we got our sprite, and we got our buttons. All right. So in the next video, we're going to do some programming to start to get these to trigger and do some really fun things. But the first part was just to set the stage. All right, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.